seven dollars to catch the bus to go to Detroit. I get off the bus, I'm walking down the main whole strip, that's what we call it. And I see this theater, the Warfield Theater. And it said, amateur show tonight, $25 first prize. So I sit there and I wrote this song. I'm a lone ranger from across the track. I got pockets full of money and a Cadillac singing high yo, high yo silver ride. <laughs> And I won. Now, if you win, you get a chance to come back the next week. I came back for eight weeks in a row. And you know, and the girls went, ah! you know. So, the eighth week, Miss Brown and her husband came to the show. I won that night. So they offered me a contract, whatever you want to call it, a contract. And that was when I did going down to Tijuana. We're glad to see you back. We got a new thing they call the bacon fat. You go. Oh, have mercy. Bacon fat. They had no idea I was going to talk. You know, talking was, I mean, are you insane? <laughs> you know, everybody was, we was in the back smoking reefer. Yeah, we're well, we gonna get a hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Andre goes, oh, he's gonna work it out. And then when they hit the music, and I say, while I was down, they say, Miss Brown was gonna cut the machine off. What is going on? Just happened that a disc jockey by the name of Frantic Ernie Durham said, Dev, leave it on, leave it on, leave the machine on. Oh, he comes there. Uh he puts out these records. I mean, bacon fat's the hit, you know, and they sell that. Now, this is a common thing. They sell the, the master to Epic, you know, for national, saying this was very common for indies to do this. People would put a record out on an indie label, and then, you know, it would make some noise in the local market, and people would say, hey, let's take a shot on that. So that's what happened with bacon fat, you know. So there's bacon fat. It's like a top 10 hit. That's, that's huge. That's a big record. Epic Records souped it up. The rest of that was history.